I know it's been like about a week since the last time we played this game, but I thought I'd finally come back to it so that we can continue our marvelous, glorious, and adventurous story. Now, by the way, <laughs> you know, you might be interested in dropping a like on this video, guys, because if you do, exclusive one time deal only. I will double up for tonight, even though it's kind of late, but I will double up for So if you love your boy, you want to support your boy, and you want to see some more content, drop a like. Now, without further ado, man, I don't got a lot of time to play around today. Let's get down to business and continue the story. All right, lit. So, bro, I have been really looking forward to playing this game again. It's just there's so many different games to play and check out. Damn, baby girl. Well, yo, yo, you saw that girl with that big donk or donk? Tell her a little something, you know what I mean? All right, let me, let me put my camera down. There you go. That should be good for you guys. Um, So, yeah, lots of different games to be played. Um, So, you know, even though I wanted to play, I had real life stuff and other games to play first. <laughs> but we should make a lot of progress in this video. We're going to finally get into the new area, which is called like the desert area or something like that. We're going to learn how to cook. And also, I wanted to show you that I finally got the golden equipment. So you guys know in the last video, I spent like 1,300 Robux to get this never degraded, degradable, degrading, whatever you want to call it, equipment so the durability doesn't go down on them at all. And here comes Roblox again, freezing. I, Bro, Roblox, man, when, when are you guys going to fix your issues? These guys are already going to start making me mad, man. I just started playing the game, man. All right, so let's go into the bar here. My boy Lucko wanted to show you guys that, like I told you in the last video, if you didn't watch it, by the way, I uh, continued doing some quests on my own, and now we just got to camp. I mean, cook at a campfire. Also, uh, I think I finally found out how to make our way back to our home area um, to cook and like farm there too, because somebody was telling me like there's an NPC that you talk to instead of using this portal, because this portal over here with like the little person symbol is where you go to go to the next area which is the desert area and you got to click on the portal and I, I was never doing that um oh look and cooking is not gonna be back at home like i thought it was so maybe you gotta actually take the raw meat and just like hold it out is that how you do it oh you just gotta click on it <laughs> you click on the fire so okay uh we can make like different fishes i mean cook different fishes that we got or we can cook the raw beef so we'll do that um, I don't even think I actually have any of these fishes. Maybe I got to take it out and put it on my hand because I'm pretty sure I do have fish. Yeah, I have a bunch of fish actually, you see. So here's the, uh, the cooked beef. Um, so we ate that, but I, I really shouldn't have done that. I should just be cooking this beef and giving it to, to my boy, uh, Wolfie. So let me cook all three pieces and hopefully I can feed it to him. My boy Wolfie, come over here, my boy. That man's starving. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his hunger meter is like, <gasps> damn it. He can only eat raw meat, bro. Hold, hold on. Let me have my camera so you guys can see. Um, He can only eat raw meat. That, that is so disappointing, my boy. I, I gave you cooked meat. Cooked meat is better, bro. All right, Wolfie, go, go away, man. All right. I, I'll try to get some more raw meat for you later into the video, I guess. Anyways, I, I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this game um, and how you like it and if you'll be playing it when it actually goes free. Because I, I like it, but there's like two other Black Clover games in the development right now that like blow this game out of the water, bro. Like those other two games look super sick. And I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to be uh, playing some more Black Clover games for you guys on the channel. So we got to talk to Gwen Dolan, whoever the hell that is. I don't think we've actually ever talked to this Gwen Dolan person. Oh, and you know what? We're actually level 28. So I think we finally might be able to unlock our last magic ability for our electric magic. So. Oh, look at this. I never even knew about this person. What's up? Welcome, adventurer. Interested in exploring the neighborhood? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Wait a minute. Okay, I clicked yes. Where is this going to take us? Oh, neighbor. That's our home area, bro. That's like our town. Ah, wow. We finally figured out how to come back here. This is the NPC that the person was trying to tell us about. So let's see if we can actually farm slash harvest. I don't think we can. I think we got to learn it. Um... Oh, yeah, look, own plot. And now we plant. So we don't have any seeds. We got to get seeds. And I guess like we can harvest eventually and farm and all that. So let's own this plot too. And then own this plot. And then own this one too. All right. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm going to get out of here because I don't think we can do much of anything else here. They do have a campfire here. Can I just click on this and cook? Oh, yeah, you could. So maybe like any campfire that you see on the map, you'll be able to go up to and just like cook there. Dude, wait a minute. Actually, before we leave, I think they've. Uh, added some more stuff to um, our home area because they have like another icon here. Let me check this out. Oh, I think this might be the merchant that actually sells you the seeds, bro. Yeah, look, a farmer. What's up, homie? Hello, I'm a farmer in this village. I sell planting seeds to villagers, but it comes at a cost. If you're interested, let me know what you need. Okay. 
Um, so let's get let's get like a potato seed, right? And this guy's kind of dumb because he says like, uh, be warned though, I give a discount to outsiders. Why wouldn't you give a discount to the people from the village, bro? You see? But fair warning, I don't give a discount. Oh, he, oh, oh, I'm stupid as hell. <laughs> That man just proved me wrong real quick. Damn, I can't own any more plots, bro, outside of the one that I got. So maybe I messed up by getting this one because it's like super far away from the farmer guy. But whatever. We'll try to plant our potato seed and maybe, you know, it'll be good to harvest later into the video. All right, here we go, guys. Let's plant this potato seed and you do a little like bag shake animation. And okay, two, two uh, minutes, basically. I don't know if I can leave. We're going to test that theory. If we come back here later and it's not here, then I guess you can't leave. You just got to wait to harvest your stuff while you're in here. All right. I thought I uh, go to the library real quick because, again, we got to, you know, get some new skills and stuff in the skill tree. Um, so there you go. Level 18, level 24. Well, level 21 is first. Level 24, uh, level 27. And, and I actually cannot get my next ability. I thought I could, but it's at level 35. Um, so I think that's all that I can get. And somebody's trying to hit me. Oh, yo, what the hell, man? Are you, are you kidding me, kid? Are you kidding? Me? Relax. All right, but these are our stats right now. Uh, bro, all right, this, this, this guy must, he, he, he must be out of his damn mind, bro. If you want to fight in here, bro. Oh, he says, yo, 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 I, right, yo, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, bro. Leave me alone, man. I don't want to conversate with you, my brother. All right, I, I got stuff to do. I'm a busy man. All right, Loco, what you got for me, my boy? Let me get that desert quest. I think that's the next one, actually. Uh, let's see. Use the portal to travel to the desert. Yes, sir. All right, beautiful. I've been really wanting to see what this area is all about because I thought in the current state of the game, we were only going to be able to play in this, like, forest area. But, oh, man, they got a whole different area. I'm excited for this. Let's see. All right, here we go, guys. We got to click on the portal. There you go. Okay, I can't believe I never tried to click on this portal before. But um, so as you guys can see, the forest is a starting area where you begin your adventure, and then the desert um is where you go to after completing the forest quest. Um, and there's apparently gonna be more areas that are come later, I guess. All right, so this is really cool. Um, it's like a completely separate place here, and they got different music, bro. This area actually looks way better than the other area. What do you mean? Oh nah, bro. I like the trees. The foliage looks a lot better here. Uh, hold on. Can I can I click on? Can I click on this? Oh yeah, you could. All right. Um. So what is this? It's like random rocks and mushrooms, bro. They should definitely update the the forest area to be more in line with this area because this area looks nice they got a little sign over there by the way on the opposite side it says village that way so we're gonna go over there yo they even got little tree branches on the floor in the desert make it make sense so then how do you like let me let me see right we have our golden axe oh it's the, these trees oh you can only chop down what chop on these trees what the hell you mean you can only chop down these trees i'm trying to chop it down you're not letting me <laughs> right I, I was asking because you guys know that the trees that we can chop down in the other area are like super blocky and those trees aren't here so i was wondering how like wood cutting is going to work in this area but i guess we'll find out so that's the library over there guys oh look uh charmy and everybody at the bar is right there literally the same exact building so but why do we got to go over here oh Lucko is outside now instead of in the bar Welcome to the desert. Are you ready for the next adventure? Yeah, man. Okay, so the next uh, quest is to craft a shovel. That's easy. I have a golden shovel, but I'll craft this, you know, just in case. Uh, not enough material. Okay. How do I not have enough material? Oh, I need more sticks. Okay. Well, that should be easy to get. All right. I went into the bar and Yami's here now instead of Luckos. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but everything else pretty much is the same. We got a couple of bounties here for people. They're really low. I'm not going to try to kill them because they're probably low level characters anyways. I stopped over here at the butchery uh, with this girl Isabella to get some more raw meat so we can give it to Wolfie later. So I'm glad we have that done and out the way already. All right, guys. And now I have enough to craft the shovel. So like I said, I already have a golden shovel, which effectively looks like this. Um, I'm not going to use the shovel that we crafted, even though I have it on my tool belt, but whatever. All right, so now our next quest is to dig up six uh, dunes, excuse me. I don't really know. Um, oh, they tell us exactly where to go. Okay, I was going to say, I don't know what dunes are, where they are, but we'll find out. So they got a lot of different NPCs, bro, on this map. 
Um, it's just unfortunate that a lot of them we can't talk to unless we actually uh, have the quest active. And I don't know who this is, but they have... Oh, this is the Fisher guy. Okay. Also, I think they desperately need a mute music button, bro. Like, I don't understand why games are still coming out in 2023, uh, 2023 and they don't have a mute music button. Um, like, it's, it's crazy to me, you know what I mean? But anyways, let's see what this uh, golden shovel will get us from this sand dune. Uh, what? What do the sand dunes even give you? Aren't they supposed to give you something? What am I getting? I'm not getting nothing. <laughs> Maybe I have a chance to get something and it's not guaranteed. I don't know. So these sand dunes are taking a while to actually uh, replenish. I'm just going to take a look around the map a little bit uh, while they do. Uh, I think we have somebody fighting over here. Who's this guy fighting? Sand wizard. Oh, okay. I think that's actually our next quest. And then they have an icon over here. This might be another mine. Um... Yeah, I think I think this is. Yeah, this is definitely the music for the mine. Yo, this mine is crazy big, bro. Look at look at all these ores in here. So they have a lot of silver, a lot of copper that we just saw. Uh, who is that? Okay, that's what? Is that my wolf? Oh, that's not my wolf. Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell? All right, and what's this over here? Yo, my broom is glitched underneath my character. What the heck? All right. Can't talk to this guy, but we can sell our minerals over here if we want some cash. We also have some spiders over here. You know what? This area might finally have some sapphire for us to mine. Because remember, in the forest area, we weren't able to get up to sapphire. The maximum thing that they had was um, this purple, whatever this purple stone is. And we needed sapphire. Look, that's the purple stone. But we needed sapphire to make a compass, which I think... Hold on, I'm pressing the wrong keys here. Here, I think this might be it. Because this looks different from the glowy purple one. So I'm pretty sure this has to be sapphire here. All right, guys, there you go. Let's pick these bad boys up. And then we'll check here. And indeed, that is sapphire. So there's only two stones here, right? Two sapphire stones. So we'll get four in total. And typically, the respawn rate is like a minute or two for these stones. Let's say two minutes, right? And if we go in here and we check the compass, uh, we need 50 sapphires. So probably like 25 minutes of grinding or so. Well, actually, my math is off. It's more like 12 minutes of grinding, right? More, more. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Like 25 minutes. What am I doing? All right. Well, at least now we know, right? And the craziest part is that the compass is actually not or well, won't be too hard for us to craft. And that's like the last, the very last item that they give you a quest for in this game. Um, Cause you know, in the prior episodes, we actually looked at like what the last quest was and it was to make a compass. All right, so they have another sand dune here. Good thing we made it over here. Cause I think there's another player all of a sudden just like also uh, doing this quest. And there you go, we completed the quest, but we still didn't get nothing. I don't understand what's the purpose of the sand dunes if we don't get nothing, right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here because I don't have too much time to play. And I'm trying to double upload for you guys here on, on separate games today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll possibly be back for some more in a couple of days on this game.